Welcome to another Research Spotlight episode at Synthesis Workshop. Today we are joined by Jayanta Day, who will be talking about photochemical oxime sulfonylation of alkenes using sulfonyl oxime ethers. Jayanta is a senior research fellow at the Indian Association for the Cultivation of Science. Thank you for joining us today, and we're excited to hear about your research. Thank you for the introduction and kind invitation to participate in the Synthesis Workshop. I am excited to present my recent work on alkene difunctionalization using sulfonyl oximether as a bifunctional reagent under mild photocatalytic condition. Before going to start, being a photochemist, I would like to briefly discuss about visible light mediated photochemistry for the general audience. Let us have a look at the solar spectrum. The radiation reaches Earth from the Sun is of varying energy, and the portion of this spectrum visible to the naked eye is generally referred as the visible spectrum. Several biochemical processes such as photosynthesis, photoisomerization of retinal, the transformation of vitamin D from cholesterol and so on are dependent on the absorption of such light radiation ranging from visible to near UV region. However, not all organic molecules can absorb visible light directly. Therefore, we need photoactive molecules or a photocatalyst to transfer visible light to chemical energy. These are some commonly employed photocatalysts and they are absorbance regions. Due to their different redox potential at ground state and excited state, this photocatalyst shows various mode of substrate activation. In the mode of action of these photocatalysts can be broadly classified into three categories. One is electron transfer where the excited photocatalyst undergo oxidation followed by oxidative quenching in the presence of suitable substrate. And the other is reductive quenching where the excited photocatalyst undergo reduction and come back to its ground state by reductive quenching in the presence of suitable electron donor and suitable electron acceptor. The other mode of photocatalysis is energy transfer where the excited photocatalyst transfer the energy to the substrate and returns to its ground state by activating the substrate. The mode of photocatalysis I am majorly working on is hydrogen atom transfer or HAT mediated CH activation. In this case the excited photocatalyst transfer hydrogen atom from a suitable substrate and generates an active radical species in the reaction medium and come back to its ground state via reverse act. This is a very special mode of photocatalysis because in this process we do not require any functional group to activate the substrate other than a suitable hydrogen atom donor or acceptor. Beside using other modes of catalysis, our group has been working heavily on HAT mediated photocatalysis for the last few years and showed how feedstock chemicals like aldehyde and alkane can be activated directly via HAT to perform several chemical transformations like intermolecular olefin hydroacylation, heteroalkylation of feedstock chemicals, alkenylation, alkynylation and allylations of ether and amide under photochemical condition. And we have also successfully established an oxidant-free mild photocatalytic condition for oxime group incorporation at inert sp3 CH bond via HAT. The traditional approach for the oxime group synthesis is via sieve base reaction or nitro reduction. There we need pre-installed functional group. Therefore, the direct installation of oxime ether functional group is very important because these appear as a privileged scaffold in various drug molecules like H01, roxithromycin, oxystain, flavoxamine and so on. Not only this, but an oxymethyl group is also a precursor to several organic functionalities like amine, aldehyde, indole, pyridine, pyrroles, nitriles and many others. There are several reports on oxym group incorporation using sulfonyl oxime ether. However, method for generating carbon centered radical are different. Either by using pre-functionalized substrate, stoichiometric hat reagent or mild photocatalytic condition. The nucleophilic carbon centered radical can attack the electrophilic sulfonyl oxime ether and deliver the oximated product by eliminating stoichiometric amount of sulfonyl radical in the reaction medium as a chemical waste. Now, if we can replace the saturated substrate with the unsaturated alkene, 
Then the electrophilic sulfonyl radical might react with alkene and generate electrophilic carbon centered radical which can again attack the sulfonyl oxymethyl regenerating other sulfonyl radical via beta fragmentation as per the previous mechanism but the challenge is to generate a nominal amount of sulfonyl radical from sulfonyl oxymethyl in the initiation step without destroying the whole sulfonyl oxymethyl to achieve this we screen several photocatalysts for this inefficient sacrificial step via electron transfer or hydrogen atom transfer by generating eminyl radical which can further fragment to give sulfonyl radical with this initial thought we started our optimization with photocatalysts electron rich alkene source excess sulfonyl oxymethyl and suitable light irradiation under an argon atmosphere after screening a wide range of photocatalysts and several reaction condition we found that 3 mole percent of eosinoy and 2 equivalent of sulfonyl oxymethyl in dimethyl acetamide solvent delivers a product in 90% of isolated yield with excellent regio and diastereo selectivity this was further confirmed from the following crystal structure here we successfully developed sulfonyl oxymethyl as an bifunctional reagent via concomitant formation of cs and cc bond keeping no bond intact at the oxim sulfonylated product when we search for the previous report of oxim based bifunctional reagent we found several exciting and well designed alkene difunctionalization with two active radical species generating by direct no bond fragmentation of oxim ester oxim carbonate and sulfamoyl fluoride as bifunctional reagent but there is no report of oxim ether based bifunctional reagent here in we present a mechanistically distinct strategy that enables oxim sulfonylation of olefins using sulfonyl oxim ethers as bifunctional reagent under metal free photochemical condition in a complete atom economic fashion now with the best optimized condition in our hand we move forward for the substrate scope study the reaction worked well with both cyclic and acyclic carboxylic acid derived enamide notably the substrate having formamide unit afforded product in excellent e land zeri ratio despite containing a active hydrogen atom the enamide posing alpha beta unsaturated carbonyl derived unit were efficiently converted to the product in this process and the cyclic enamide are also tolerated in this process not only activated alkenes but unactivated alkenes like triadecene gave good yield and excellent zeri ratio several other functional groups containing alkenes like ester ketones sulfone bromide free alcohol and even epoxide were smoothly transformed to the corresponding products this method was found to be applicable to styrene derivatives with moderate yields although the reaction gave disappointing result with internal alkenes the difunctionalization of cyclopentene was achieved with excellent yield and trans selectivity moreover replacing cyano group with hydrogen the reaction also furnished the desired product the synthetic utility of the process was established in the derivatization of bioactive molecules like ibuprofen menthol linanone saccharin lithocholic acid theophylline and phenylalanine to further highlight the synthetic utility of the process the product with triadecene was transformed to different valuable materials like alpha oxim primary amide via partial saponification of cyanide amido oxim via hopman rearrangement unnatural amino acid precursor by zinc reduction mono substituted tetrazole via 13 dipolar reaction with azide even we have performed a gram scale experiment with n vinyl pyrrolidinone and two equivalent of sulfonyl oxymethyl under standard condition we recovered 0.6 equivalent of the sulfonyl oxymethyl along with 84% of the desired product and after base treatment of the desired product multifunctionalized azadine was synthesized with 71% of isolated yield and then to get inside of the reaction mechanism we perform several mechanistical studies like a crossover experiment using enamide with two different sulfonyl oxymethyls which yielded a mixture of both crossover and non crossover product 
दिस रिजल्ट सजेस्ट दैट द रिएक्शन इज लार्जली आउट ऑफ सॉल्वेंट केज then the stand hormone plot suggests that the sulfonyl oxymethyl is the primary quencher of the excited photocatalyst this result indicates the excited photocatalyst primarily interacts with sulfonyl oxymethyl in the reaction medium the radical clock experiment with beta pinene and sulfonyl oxymethyl gave the rearranged product indicating a radical pathway involvement additionally during the light on off experiment when the light was on maximum conversion was observed but at dark mode very sluggish conversion was observed this indicates a radical chain operating in the reaction medium and the quantum mill value also support the radical chain mechanism with these results at our disposal a possible radical chain mechanism for the process has been proposed at first the excited photocatalyst activates the sulfonyl oxymethyl via the hat process to initiate the reaction the sulfonyl radical is generated via sacrificial decomposition of sulfonyl oxymethyl involving no bond homolysis followed by eliminating of neutral nitrile gas and aldehyde the appearance of the aldehydic proton signal in one is sample of the crude reaction mixture over time supports the formation of aldehyde additionally the aldehyde could also be isolated and characterized the addition of sulfonyl radical to olefin leads to a nucleophilic c center radical this was evident by the detection of beta keto sulfon on hrms analysis of the crude reaction mixture upon exposure to oxygen the adduct radical intermediate 3 then react with the electron deficient sulfonyl oxim ether to form the intermediate 4 which afforded the desired product along with regenerating sulfonyl radical to propagate the radical chain the chain termination is thought to occur via a reverse hat process with sulfonyl radical in summary we have developed an efficient photochemical strategy that allows oxim sulfonylation of unactivated olefin using sulfonyl oxymethyl as an bifunctional reagent the process enables the direct incorporation of synthetically useful and medicinally relevant oxymethyl and sulfonyl functionalities across a c double bond c bond in a complete atom economic fashion with yields up to 96% and high stereoselectivity a synthetically valuable functional group is shown to be tolerated and difunctionalization involving various complex bioactive molecules has been achieved in this process this study for the first time highlights the use of oxim ether as an bifunctional reagent under mild photocatalytic condition assuring in a general atom economic strategy for transfer oxim sulfonylation of olefins lastly i would like to acknowledge professor joyram guin for his guidance thanks to my fantastic team behind this work especially noyan banerjee and shikriti dau for their unwavering dedication and thanks to all my lab mates i would like to thank ics dst acrb and csir for funding and the synthesis workshop for inviting me to this episode and i hope you all enjoyed the presentation thank you thanks to yanta for this interesting talk and thanks to our listeners for tuning in for this episode we hope to see you next time on synthesis workshop